What's going on, LEGO Maniacs? It's Ty, the LEGO guy here, and today we're going to be dealing with how to best clean your dirty, dusty LEGO. Now we have a number of test subjects that we're going to try and clean. Some of these have not been cleaned in years, so they'll make for awesome test subjects. If you're like myself, you feel that probably the best way to clean your LEGO is to use a toothbrush and water. Others feel that even a makeup brush is the best way to go about it. But we're going to try out the Clean My Bricks mini vacuum and see how that works. Just so you guys know, this video is sponsored by them. So if you're interested in the product, click the link in the description. It will take you to their website. They offer free worldwide shipping and their product is worth about $48.99 USD. But if you type in the promo code Ty the Lego Guy, it will give you a 10% discount. Anyways, this one should get interesting. Hopefully it will be helpful for you guys because if you're like me, you have Lego sets and they just gather a ton of dust. So we're gonna see how this product pans out. But enough talk, let's get right into it. And we'll start by giving you guys a little bit more view or understanding of the product. This is the box it comes in. It is made in China in case you guys are wondering. And it is a cordless vacuum cleaner, which is quite convenient. Now, here is the vacuum, which we'll show off a little bit more, obviously when we uh, clean off the sets. And it is charged by a USB cable. Now this is not going to be the head that we use. I'll show off the uh, head in the next clip. I just don't think that this is really, it's not going to really work too well, but the other one will. Let's uh, now show off this thing and how it kind of works. And here we have the vacuum all set up. So this is the nozzle that we'll be using. As you guys can see, it has some brushes at the end of it. This will really help at removing the dust along with obviously the vacuum. But to give you guys a little bit better view of the test subjects, you may think that these are pretty clean. Well, they are definitely not. This has not been cleaned in years and look at all the dust on this. It's incredible. So it'll make for a good test to see how well this vacuum performs. We also have the Imperial Probe Droid. This is not too dirty. The Slave One is a bit dusty, but not nearly as dusty as the Death Star. As you can see, this one's quite bad as well. Maybe not quite as bad as the Star Destroyer, but still pretty dusty. And then we have a couple brick heads along with one of the helmets from the helmet collection. Let's now see how this vacuum performs. And we'll just turn her on to do so. You literally just click this button. There it goes. So let's see how this thing does. Oh wow. You guys are probably gonna have a hard time hearing me over the vacuum, but guys, look how this just takes the dust right off. Okay, let's try this plate. This is probably the easiest though, because you know the plate, there, there's not much hindering it from being clean. But going over the studs. Guys, this is, uh, this is really uh, cleaning this pretty easily. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clean the entire destroyer and then I'm gonna show you guys how it kind of looks. Just again, this is the before. As you can see, it is atrocious. Let's see how this little vacuum does. Well, we were moving right along, getting this thing cleaned up and just so you guys see, I mean, check that out, the difference between these two sides, I kind of wanted to do half of it and basically half of it is done. And it's just night and day. This is the easiest way I've ever cleaned Lego. Now, my one concern though about this vacuum is it did die on me and I checked out their website and the battery lasts for about 20 to 35 minutes. We're gonna see if that holds true. It's still charging. It could just be one of those things where you know you get a new product and it's not fully charged. So I'm gonna charge it and then I'll let you guys know how long the recharge lasts because this only lasted for about 10 minutes which is kind of a negative as much as this does do a good job cleaning it but once it is charged i'm going to clean half of boa fett's starship or the slave one which i prefer calling it and uh, yeah show you guys the difference might even start a little bit on the death star 
But again, just my main concern with this product is the battery. So we let the vacuum charge a little bit longer and I didn't let it fully charge. It charged for about an hour and a half and it gave us about 13 minutes of battery power. So I do believe that it does give you a full 20 to 35 minutes, but it's probably gonna take you about two, three hours to charge. That's at least my guess. Just to show you guys, this is the Slave One. So here's the side that's not been dusted and here is the side that has so kind of crazy the differences. I mean, obviously one's clean, one's not. This is a dirty brick heads that hasn't been cleaned. This is a clean brick heads that has. This is probably one of the most contrast you'll see. Half of this has been dusted and the other half obviously hasn't. So big, big differences. This is again, the easiest way I've ever cleaned Lego. It just unfortunately takes a little while to charge, but you will get that 20 to 35 minutes. You're just gonna have to let it charge for more than an hour and a half. I kinda just rushed it. Then I also dusted the Death Star. This was one of the most difficult areas to kinda clean. And as you guys can see, here's the not cleaned area. And here's the cleaned area. So it does work quite well. It's kinda hard to get into those grooves and whatnot. Another thing that's really nice about it is it doesn't scratch your Lego pieces. So if you guys were concerned about that, I haven't noticed that it did any of that. And uh, it also doesn't suck up your pieces unless you really press on it. In fact, I'm gonna show that off just in the next little bit, but I just wanted to show this side of the destroyer again. It's just night and day. <laughs> These pieces are so dusty. And to show you guys how you can kind of open this up to reveal the dust. So if you're like myself and you're worried about where your pieces are gonna go, if it manages to suck one up, that's where it's going. So you don't have to worry too much. It just puts it in this little compartment and the uh, filter holds it basically in here. It's not gonna go into the machine or anything. Yeah, pretty simple and Kind of crazy the amount of dust. You can see it's doing its job, although that is half a destroyer and uh, most the Death Star as far as dust goes. I also wanted to show off the plates for the Death Star. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain to get in there. I'm gonna have to remove its lasers, but this was just, again, covered in dust and now it's gone. Again, that Star Destroyer, this is what it looked like before and this is what it looks like after. So this is a product that I'd highly recommend. The only concern I have about it is the battery. But again, if you give it it's two or three hours, it's gonna give you that 20, 35 minutes. Although this video is sponsored by Clean My Bricks, I wanted to give a fair review. And obviously if you should maybe buy it or not, if you're running into issues like myself with a ton of dusty Lego. But yeah, that pretty well does the review. But if you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future, you know, how to dust your Lego, clean it up. But yeah, that pretty well does the video again. And again, if you're interested in the product, just click the link in the description and it will take you over to cleanmybricks.com. But thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.